Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how you can assign CCs in the MIDI control section of the Aftertrack and then I'll share some ideas of what to do with those once you have assigned them. So let's get right to it. As you can see I'm already in MIDI mode here on the Aftertrack and I have all eight tracks set to channel 6. This is where the Microfreak in this case receives MIDI. It's important that you pick the appropriate MIDI channel, otherwise your CCs are not going to do anything. In MIDI mode, by pressing the FX1 and FX2 button, we get to the Control 1 and Control 2 pages. And here we have a bunch of CCs that we can freely assign, with the exception of the first two, which are always going to be Pitch, Band and Aftertouch. But the other ones, we can assign to anything we want. So here's how you do this. Uh, first, you have to turn on the CC you want to use. You do this by holding Function and then pressing the encoder of the CC you want to turn on. So, for example, encoder A for CC5 here. And now this will send out a CC value. By double tapping this FX2 button, we get to the setup menu where we can pick which CC number this should send out. Uh, by default, this is set to 71, but I can pick any other number. So I could look up uh, what's what on the Microfreak, or I could pick 23. That's uh, usually the filter cutoff frequency. Uh, I'm going to confirm by pressing yes. Then I'm going to go back out of the setup menu by pressing no. And now turning the encoder on the Octatrack does the same thing as this. Neat, this works, but there's an easier way to set this up if you have the Octatrack and your synth connected both ways, meaning the Octa sending MIDI to the synth and the synth is sending MIDI back to the Octatrack, then you can use the MIDI CC learn mode. This uh, works as follows. Uh, you turn on, uh, same as before, the CC you want to use. So for example, CC6, I'm going to hold function and press encoder B. Now this is on. I'm going to go to the setup page and here I'm going to hold function and do the same thing, press encoder B and now it says MIDI CC6 learn and it is listening for CC messages from the uh, Microfreak. So I'm going to go with this uh, wave parameter here, uh, which is the chord type in this uh, chord oscillator I'm using. And now it has automatically assigned uh, CC10 to the CC6. And now... This changes the type of chord the uh, Microfreak is playing. We can also see here that this, this adjusts the chord type on the Microfreak. As you can see, this is a lot quicker than looking up CC numbers and uh, dialing them in manually. Uh, so I'm going to do it one more time here for CC7. Turn it on, go to the setup page, hold function, press the encoder, uh, learn mode, and then I'm going to turn this timbre knob here and I have assigned this parameter to CC7 here. Oh, CC7, yes. Nice, so now that I have assigned a couple of uh, CCs, uh, I'm gonna show you what you can do with those. Of course, you can just control your synth like I did just now, uh, but you can also use them uh, for a parameter locks and as alpha destinations. So let's do the parameter lock thing first. Uh, so I'm gonna enter some tricks into the sequence here. And now I could easily assign different uh, chord types or inversions because that's what I have assigned to the CCs to those uh, steps. So let's do this. Uh, for this uh, second trick, I'm gonna pick a, yeah, what should I go with? A minor chord and then maybe a minor nine and then minor seven, minor 11 and the first one. What else do we have we here? Maybe just a fifth. Let's have a listen. Cool. This adds a lot of variation to this and it's very easy to set up on the Octatrack. Lots of synths can do this too, including the Microfreak, uh, but it's way easier to do this on the Octatrack than on the Microfreak. 
The other very cool thing that you can do with the CCs once you have assigned them to the Octatrack is use them as destinations for your LFOs. So I'm going to do this here with the CC7, which is the inversion transposition here on the Microfreak, which basically just makes your chord higher or lower. For this, I'm going to go to the LFO page here double tap this to get into the setup menu and then up here on the top left I'm gonna pick control 2 meaning the second control page and then in here CC7 as my destination and now this uh, triangle shaped LFO will modulate the inversion transposition of the chord. <laughs> Very nice. And since I have three CCs assigned, why not uh, use the last one also? So I'm going to go to LFO2 and set the destination to control 2 CC5. And then here I'm going to try to add some rhythm to this. So I'm going to pick maybe this downward saw shape. I'm going to increase the depth and then make it faster. And then maybe as the trick type, I'm going to pick uh, this trick, trick, sync trick. This means it will trigger the LFO with the start of the pattern. Now the speed is set to eighth notes. Let's try sixteenth. Easy way to add some uh, rhythm uh, to your sequence. Again, you could do this on the Microfreak as well. Just use the Microfreak's LFO to modulate the filter. Uh, but this has the advantage that we still have a free LFO here that's not doing anything yet and we could use it anytime. So yeah, uh, cool feature of the Octatrack to be able to assign this many. It's uh, four on page one and six on page two. So a total of 10 CCs that you can assign and do all sorts of crazy stuff with. I hope you found this useful and thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.